Hi guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios. I'm back with another XCart 5 tip. This is just going to be a quick tip on, uh, you know, tweaking custom CSS in, in your store. So we have a question on the forums uh, today about how to remove uh, some space from the template. And uh, basically it's a question about how to tweak the CSS. First off, I want to say it's really hard. Um, in this case, uh, we want to remove some space at the bottom of the page. That's really hard for me to give the exact solution without looking at the page in question. I mean, we need to inspect the, the CSS of, of your page. In my case, I have some space here at the bottom of the page, and I'm going to show you how to remove that, and, uh, and we'll get right to it. So we want to start out by inspecting the element. So we're going to right-click, I'm using Chrome, and inspect element. And that pulls up our little uh, uh, console here. I'm just going to scroll down to show the space. And I'm going to inspect again just to make sure I'm close to where I need to be. So by mousing over these different sections, I can see that the main wrapper um, is above. And then we have this footer area. And I can tell by that orange that we have a, quite a bit of margin added to this footer. So we select it. And we look over here, and it looks like this setting right here is, is controlling the top margin. So I'm just going to double click a few times and then use my arrow keys. And I can see that by taking that margin down, I'm really removing a lot of that space there. That's most of the space. Now the main wrapper is sitting directly on top of the uh, footer area. So I'm just going to highlight this section over here and copy all of that code. Control C. And now I've logged into my admin panel. I'm going to go to System Settings, Look and Feel, and then choose Custom CSS. This CSS should be laid on top of all the other styles, so we won't have to target uh, more specifically or anything like that, I do believe. And I'm just going to get rid of the uh, styles that don't matter. The only one is the margin that we changed. And leave it just like that. We'll save. And we'll go back to the front of the site and refresh. Now we saw no change because uh, you know we, we haven't. Um, it was it did what we wanted. We have a, a custom CSS rule here, and the footer area now has a margin of zero px on the top. So let's look at where the rest of the space is coming from. Right above the footer area div, I see main wrapper, and uh, I can tell by hovering over that that controls that entire section. But it looks like we need to drill down. Then we have div class main, or class clear fix, id main. And then uh, there's a content class column. And again, I can see that's the margin that I need to affect by the orange area. And so I scrolled down over here and I found margin bottom. And that is sucking that content all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, obviously, you know, we just take this style and paste it in our custom CSS. I want to keep this video short and sweet. It's Mike White signing off. Good luck in all your e-commerce efforts. Talk to you soon.